Well, happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome back to another haul slash vlog day. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate this in my vlogging, but I'm trying to get better at vlogging and try to take you guys along with me when I shop. But um, the Aldi's was a little too busy. Um, and I'm not quite comfortable with <laughs> vlogging outside of the home or, you know, around crowds and stuff. So, um, it's something I'm getting used to. So let's get to looking at what I had to get from all these because Walmart let me down. And I know you're all the same. Well, why do you keep going to Walmart when you don't like it? Because it's just Walmart and it's convenient. <laughs> And it's convenient to have it brought to the house, but um, I think I'm going to be venturing out to Aldi's more because Aldi's is it's not that far from here. And their prices are good. This wasn't even $100 worth of groceries. So I think it's pretty good. But a lot of times I don't like to go into the grocery store because I have a habit of impulse buying. And that's what happened today. And I'll show you. Let's take a look. Okay. Here we have. These are the things that I ordered yesterday from Walmart. And um, yeah, it didn't come with my groceries. <laughs> so here we have some. Um, plus, the, the all these doesn't have all name brand. Or, or they have their brand stuff which has improved over the years. So I'm happy to say that. But um, here we have toilet tissue, restocking my uh, bin, my um, supplies of those. Um, Here's some um, potatoes, these little baby Dutch yellow potatoes, those golden potatoes. They are yummy if you, you cook them in the oven and then smash them with some garlic seasoning on them. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Garlic and butter seasoning. Here we have some ham for sandwiches. Here in back, we have some provolone cheese here. Um, and I got two packs of those for the price that I would have gotten one pack of Kraft at, at um, Walmart. Some Mexican style cheese. Uh, we like, well, my son likes to put this on his meals and stuff, but I put it on salad sometime because I'm, again, lactose intolerant, so I don't, I don't eat much cheese. Here we have some, uh, a little pork meal, seasoned and seared pork uh, barbecue that I'm going to um, heat up and cook for sandwiches for dinner this evening. Um, back here, we have some bagels. They are maple French toast flavor. Thought we would give those a try. Here are some of our sweet peppers. We were supposed to get sweet peppers yesterday. They didn't come in the thing. <laughs> my salads, uh, salad for the week. Also missing from my order. Some um, sandwich skinnies. That's going to go with the pork sandwiches and I'm going to make that with some potatoes and some vegetables for dinner. Um, these little calzones were on sale and they were like two dollars for a piece. Um, thought that was something my son would like or my husband would want when he comes home from work. Uh, some tomato soup. That can be tomato soup, probably, with some cheese sandwiches, grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, my blueberries that I ordered yesterday didn't come. Strawberries. Now, this is something interesting. They are pinkaboo strawberries, and they're supposed to have a touch of pineapple taste to them. So, I've never had these, and I've seen other people talk about them and say they are good. So, yeah, I ventured out and and tr I'm going to try them. So, I'll be prepping those up and cutting uh, cutting those up and putting them in with my blueberries in the refrigerator for the week. Bought two um, 
packs of ground turkey. The ground turkey was another thing that was missing from yesterday's order because I'm going to be making uh, baked spaghetti for meals this week and I need my ground turkey. You can't, well, I could make it and just put cheese in it and noodles and sauce. Okay, an impulse buy. I've been thinking all week and looking on um, Amazon at... Um, French presses because you know we're coffee connoisseurs here in the house and, and uh, always looking for a different way of drinking coffee and my husband and I were talking about them and I and I was gonna get one off of Amazon and they were kind of like $25 $30 depending on the kind and the name brand and I figured to just try it out I saw this at Aldi's an impulse buy but it was $12.99. So I bought bought us a French press. And I'll have my husband do a taste test and let you know. Okay. Not the first time I've had coffee made in a coffee press. But the first time I've made coffee in a coffee press. This is a coffee press that Debbie bought in the uh, uh, showed in the hall yesterday. Or, or whenever you're seeing this video. And... Um, the instructions are straightforward, simple, a lot more complicated or a lot more steps than just putting it in there. But, you know, we're, we're going to see what it tastes like. It seems to look okay. Looks like coffee. Looks like coffee in the decanter. So we're going to try it out. All right, let's see. With no cream, no sugar, or anything. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a candle. All these has a, a wide variety of candles, and it's a soy blend. And I, I thought, and I'm trying to go a little healthier with my candles and my wax melts, and uh, have it be soy because I, I do have, I used to. I didn't, I'm not accepting that anymore. Because I am, I'm good with it. I haven't used an inhaler in a long time. And um, I used to suffer from asthma with smells and different things like that. So I had to be very careful about perfumes and candles and different things. But I haven't had that <laughs> amazingly since I've been working from home the last three years. So I've been good with that. But this is a soy candle. So we'll see how well that goes. And then down here, and it's upside down, aha, uh -huh, some sparkling water um, that I picked up from Aldi's. But this, all of this was less than 100 bucks from Aldi's. So I got to start venturing out and going to Aldi's probably more. But it was like 80 bucks of stuff that they didn't send yesterday. So I'm getting a credit back from Walmart. And I'm <clears throat> going to be spending less in my a grocery budget because of their little mistake. So I look at it as a blessing. God was trying to, God did bless me <laughs> to, to spend less money this week on my groceries. So here we have it, my little Aldi's haul. And Mike, um, I want to try to have a, a bonfire tonight since this is my last official day off from work my birthday week <laughs> but um thanks for watching and i want to uh, thank all of the new subscribers that i have i'm going to be venturing out and doing vlogs and doing a lot more um interaction to entertain you other than my food videos but we love you and there's nothing that you can do about it Thank you so much for tuning in to this little mini haul and my impulse buy. <laughs> but have a great weekend. Love you. Bye-bye.